Yeah, so RAT was created for two challenges. The first thing was, was there was no, there was no single area where you could collect all workforce information across a system. So if you're working in a trust, if you're working in a community trust, if you're working in a GP practice, if you're working in community prescribing, anywhere, if you're working in local authorities, there's no single source of information and no place to store it. So that was the first reason. And the second reason was the uh, lack of a model to compare demand with activity and to allow teams to be able to vary either their activity, um, to be able to vary their capacity in terms of workforce, or to, to vary their efficiency between those, between those steps. That's what it was created for. Uh, it was originally created within Lancashire Care, um, uh, but also across the entire, uh, really the Preston area in Lancashire. I mean, RAPT in itself is a, is a combination of things. So it's an approach, it's a set of tools, and it's a team. So there's three different things, really. The team is a team of four or five people plus additional uh, supporters that help when we're busy um, that's able to train and implement on either the approach or the tool. Okay, And they're based out of Lancashire Care. Second thing it is, is very much the tool itself. And the tool itself is, uh, is available free to use. Um, you generally need a desktop, but once you've done the upload, you can use it on a tablet. Um, and what it does is allow you to store the information in there, and it allows you then to play with different models off the back of it. So that's the second thing it is. The third thing it is, though, and absolutely critically, is it's an approach. So there is a, a way of saying, how do we move from not knowing what we're doing with regards to workforce planning or strategy through to having a workforce plan or strategy? And we work with all sorts of different approaches, including Calderdale, you know, the six-step approach, uh, person-centric, etc. A whole range of different, uh, of different approaches. But we've got a core approach that we use that brings all of those together into a way that you can, as I say, move from not understanding anything potentially about how to do workforce planning all the way through to having a, a proper workforce plan at the other end of it. The phrase that we use when we're trying to do any bit of work, we always say we're trying to save lives through workforce planning. So that means we've got to look at how on earth are we actually making a, um, a, a, di a difference to um, to patients and to citizens when we're, when we're using it. I think the key elements that we've had certainly in terms of it is we're using it as a mechanism to redesign services. So it's been used to redesign A&E services, for example. So by its nature, it will be making sure that people are able to better access emergency services faster. There is a huge amount of digital innovation that's out there. Um, I think the key challenge that the NHS faces, I think for me, is, is really around two key areas, well, the areas we certainly focus on. I think the, fo the first area is, is how does it quickly identify and adopt the technology that's out there into its core processes. Um, it's very, very difficult when everyone's working really, really hard to keep the wheels on, keep the lights on, etc., um, to actually look and say, how can we innovate with these ideas? There's security, there are system uh, things getting in the way, there's funding things getting in the way. It's really difficult. So that's its first key, key challenge. And if it can overcome that, then I think we'll see digitalization very, very quickly. I think the second thing is, is um, trying to identify how the NHS can drive innovation in its own right and the difficulties associated with that. But the NHS has got a huge amount of data, it's got some wonderful use cases. Um, yeah, it knows what needs to happen and it's got some incredibly intelligent people uh, working within it. And the, I think the other key challenge from a healthcare point of view is how do we how do we identify those opportunities? How do we pull together the solutions to those opportunities, but then how do we get that spread across the, across the NHS?